Writer's Workshop, Session 11, Writing Persuasive Reviews. Today I want to teach you that writers write introductions to grab their readers' attention right from the very start. One way to do this is to talk to your reader. Say hello <clears throat> with a catchy introduction. One, ask questions to make your reader wonder. Two, name the topic. Three, say your opinion. I think. Look at the example. The author of this piece of writing started out by saying, if you love ice cream, then I know you'll love the frozen yogurt at Pinkberry. That grabbed the reader's attention. You want to hook your reader. There are a couple different ways that you can do this. Good writers hook or grab readers with a lead that makes them want to continue reading. Try some of these. You could try an onomatopoeia. I know, it's a silly word. Begin with a sound word like whoosh, gobble, clank. Or an interjection. Begin with a feeling word. Wow, ah, hey. Begin with a question. Can you believe it happened again? Or a quote. Don't bring that in the house, my mom hollered. Begin with the meaning of your subject. The dictionary says fishing means. Or begin with a bold statement. Off of all the seasons, winter is the most popular. Or begin with your opinion. I think a cat is the best pet to have. All of these things are great ways to hook your reader. It makes your reader want to continue reading. Let's take a look at this persuasive review about Chili's restaurant. This was written by a first grader named Sam. Are you hungry? Are you ready for food? If you are hungry, go to Chili's. Chili's has awesome food. The pizza at Chili's is amazing because it has a lot of pepperonis. Chili's has a lot of good food. Okay, so that's this, um, this writer started out by asking a question. Are you hungry? Are you ready for food? And then it, he goes on to explain why he's reviewing Chili's. Okay, what he's trying to convince you of. Here's another one. This is a persuasive review um, about the movie Inside Out, given five stars. I really like the movie Inside Out. The characters are funny and make me laugh. I think it is the most hilarious movie. I love this movie. So the author of this review started by um, giving their opinion that they really like the movie Inside Out. All right. The movie Inside Out is funny and talks about feelings. The characters are colorful and silly, especially Bing Bong. Bing Bong is an imaginary friend who Riley created when she was little. If you like silliness and learning about feelings, watch out Inside Out. So the author of this particular review went back and she added some more um, details. She added her opinion, she explained why, and she gave some specific examples. Okay? So, not only do you need to hook your reader, you need to have a catchy conclusion. So, don't forget to say goodbye. One, you can repeat your opinion. Two, repeat the big reasons. Use the word because. Or three, tell readers to do something. I'll show you some examples. In the review about Pinkberry, let's listen for the conclusion at the end. I think Pinkberry is the best place for dessert because the frozen yogurt is tasty, healthy, and there are so many great toppings to put on top. Next time you are in the mood for a delicious treat, make sure you go to Pinkberry. 
the author told the readers to do something as their conclusion. Okay, now let's take a look at the conclusion for the Chili's review. Okay, I'll reread and then where the arrow is, is their conclusion. Are you hungry? Are you ready for food? If you are hungry, go to Chili's. Chili's has awesome food. The pizza at Chili's is amazing because it has a lot of pepperonis. Chili's has a lot of good food. Chili's has healthy food. Chili's has a big pepper. They have appetizers. Chili's is good food. Mmm, you should go to Chili's. So where you see the arrow, that's where the author wrote their conclusion. They're saying, Chili's is good food. Mmm, you should go to Chili's. They're telling us to go do something. All right, so um, let's take a look at where the two arrows are for the review of Inside Out. Okay, the arrow on the left side says, if you like silliness um, and learning about feelings, watch Inside Out. So it's kind of just saying, hey, if you like this, go watch this movie. Okay, on the second page, the author's conclusion is restating her opinion. I love this movie. Again, two different things that you could do for your conclusion. So when you write your persuasive review today, I want you to hook your reader um, in your introduction, and I also want you to write a conclusion. So make sure you're focusing on those two things today.